Once upon a time. <laughs> In a land far, far away. There lived a girl who was perfect. <laughs> Except that she was born with a defective man picker. <laughs> extremely adventurous life. Everyone who knew only the surface envied her life, but every frog she kissed turned into a horny toad instead. <laughs> <laughs> After many years of trying for a silver purse and ending up with pig ears all over the floor, she gave up. She waved her magic wand and banished the last ogre from the she resolved that from then on she would rule alone and devote herself to her furry subjects. There was perhaps a tinge of regret that there would be no knight in shining armor riding over the horizon to share her dreams and her duties. But nobody gets everything. And overall she was content and at peace. Well, by now it seems obvious that the fairy tale is over. <laughs> In fact, it never actually got started. <laughs> so we'll fast forward to the beginning of 2008, when Bill called me out of my office to meet early to his tenants. It was just two really cute guys, and I thought, well, I could press the easy button right away on this one, because <laughs> this will be no problem at all. <laughs> I was really puzzled then when the really cute one without the wedding ring came into my office every single day <laughs> to ask a question or solve a plumbing problem or borrow a cup of paper clips. <laughs> but the castle walls were high and strong, so it took me all a month or maybe even longer. <laughs> to figure out that, you know, questions can be asked on the phone and they do sell cups and paper clips at the store. <laughs> Just about the time the light bulb was starting to flicker in my head, Jim's thinking, this woman's either totally thick or she's really, really not interested in me. <laughs> and then he had a brainwave. He asked me to partner him for ballroom dancing lessons. Well, he had no way of knowing at that time what a huge part music plays in my life. Listening to music, singing and dancing have been traditions on both sides of my family for generations back. I was thrilled to be asked, and I told him so. But it was just dancing. I don't date, not now, not ever, don't even go there. And he smiled that quiet smile and agreed. Well, dancing was great fun. And then it seemed convenient that we would meet every week for dinner. Because it was too far for me to go home and come back again before the lesson. And, but it was just dancing and the dinner. No dating. <coughs> and the quiet smile <coughs> flickered across his face when I reminded him of that fact. <laughs> well, after a while, dinner and dancing wasn't quite enough. And he said, what can we do to spend time together and get talk and get to know one another that couldn't possibly be mistaken for a date. <laughs> you know, and I said, that's easy. I'm training for the breast cancer three day week. Bring your shorts and shoes and we'll cover some miles after work. So we did. Unfortunately for his plan of talking and getting to know each other, I'd been training for a while by then and my 10 mile pace left him largely speechless. <laughs> So while I chattered on, he uh, yeah. smiled that quiet smile and nodded a wrinkle. Are you going to About four months later, one day I said, All right, damn it, Jim, we'll date. <laughs> but that's all it's ever going to be. You'll live in your place, I'll live in my place. Nothing else is ever going to come of this, so don't even go there with me. <laughs> smile that quiet smile. <laughs> <laughs> Ten days later, his company sent him to Hawaii to work for three months. So 
very rare not dating. <laughs> <laughs> I did manage to sneak over there for a couple of long weekends, but <laughs> other than that, all we had were phone calls and emails. The separation had two positive effects. One, I realized that I missed him horribly. And second, we had to concentrate hard on communicating what was meaningful and important to both of us. So that when, our, when Jim came home last October, our relationship really blossomed like a desert after the rain. Although we did have to afford a couple of real gully washers. But <laughs> <laughs> But the quiet smile was in place the whole way. And now I know that if you want to open your eyes after a kiss and find the prince, you have to start off with a prince. <laughs> 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 <laughs>